strong interference on subspace capping. The planet must be a natural radio source. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nichelle Nichols, but I still feel a little bit like Lieutenant Uhura on the Starship Enterprise. You know, now there's a 20th century Enterprise, an actual space vehicle built by NASA and designed to put us in the business of space, not merely ex space exploration. Now, NASA's Enterprise is a space shuttle built to make regularly scheduled runs into space and back, just like a commercial airline. The shuttle may even be used to build a space station in orbit around the Earth. And this would require the services of people with a variety of skills and qualifications. Average good health is required, and candidates will train right here at Johnson Space Center, just outside Houston, Texas. Astronaut Alan Bean has agreed to show me some of the training and evaluation that new astronaut candidates will be undergoing. You're Apollo, right? Apollo. I flew on Apollo 12, and I flew on... Uh, Skylab, too. Sky, you, see, you know I, a lot. <laughs> I know a lot about you, Alan B. <laughs> uh, this whole Johnson Space Center is not just controlling uh, space missions. We've got engineers that work in developing the hardware here, medical people that work on testing and uh, the like. And then we've got some simulators over here where we train in frequently, and I'll... Uh, As a shuttle sh Shuttle simulator? simulator. Yes, the oh, same sort of thing that... The new scientist astronauts, yes. and which we now call mission specialists, right. and pilot astronauts will be flying over the term that they're here. Michelle, this is the lower body negative pressure device that we use to check and see what physical condition you're in. And if you'll get in, uh, maybe I can explain it to you. You kind of have to put your feet down in through this opening. It's kind of ominous. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> it looks, but it feels good when you get in there. And it's got to be up real tight around your body. I see. So that it can form an uh, airtight seal, a vacuum oh, yes. seal. I see. We're going to pump the air out of this uh, lower body negative pressure uh -huh. device. And in so doing, it'll put a, a pull on the blood in your lower body. What is that for? Why? Well, why what it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to check what condition your heart and your mm -hmm. cardiovascular system is in. Mm -hmm. So uh, get ready. The Enterprise was never like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay, you ready? <laughs> How's that feel? Fantastic. Okay, I can come down here with these controls and change the amount of suction on your lower body to, to stress your heart to different levels. Want to know how to get out when the test is over? Yeah, I think it would be a good idea. <laughs> push right on there. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we have one... Enterprise that was fantasy, but now we've got the real enterprise. Well, this this enterprise is half real and half fantasy. Why don't you have a seat over here in the commander's side, wow, it Michelle? Looks just like my enterprise. Yeah, it does kind of. Well, I'll tell you what it does look like. It looks pretty much like the real shuttle orbiter. Captain, <laughs> <What? laughs> at last. <laughs> Since you're sitting in the commander's seat, Michelle, let me show you how you might fly it if we were in space. Oh boy, huh? Oh. Between your knees there is what we call the hand controller, the rotation controller. It operates just like a conventional airplane stick. And if you pull back uh, on the stick or the hand controller, yeah. uh, it'll raise the nose of the orbiter. Oh, yeah. And then if you push forward, it'll lower the nose. If you wanted to bank left for a left turn, you'd push the ah. hand controller left, just like a regular old airplane. <laughs> oh, it really is. One thing that's different about this vehicle is you notice we've got some what we call cathode ray tube displays. we got three of them. You don't see those in conventional airplanes uh, because the need to display a variety of information with limited space isn't quite so critical as here. Now the shuttle will be taking scientists and engineers, men and women of all races, into space just like the astronaut crew on the Starship Enterprise. So that is why I'm speaking to the whole family of humankind, minorities and women alike. If you qualify and would like to be an astronaut, now is the time. This is your NASA, a space agency embarked on a mission to improve the quality of life on planet Earth right now. <laughs>